What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Friday. Today we have another episode of the Red Regionals Question and Answer segment. Uh, now, before we hop into the questions and everything, I actually want to go over Twitch just a little bit. We do sometimes live stream the Regionals Question and Answer. You can interact with us when we talk about it. And as you see, it's going to be twitch.tv slash Team Fish Knuckles. Currently, right now, we have 91 followers. So if you can go follow the Twitch stream, and I'm also going to make sure I start. Uh, using Twitch more for late night uh, for streaming and stuff so hopefully we can get into that I really do want to interact with Twitch more because it does help me involve uh, with the community and I really do like that a lot but uh, in a second we'll see the regional question and answer warning and there is a lot of cuss words and swear words I apologize for that but they're having a lot of fun it was a lot of fun uh, but hopefully you don't mind the cussing and swearing that happens but hopefully you enjoyed the video let me know if you have any suggestions we won't have another question and answer until states come around um, when states come around we'll start uh, having a bunch of people on here as well so this will be the last one just for a little bit then we'll go back to the fan friday i do like how we can do fan friday doing regionals question and answer and then we could do fan friday for just the games as well so that's a cool thing we can do a fan friday but hopefully you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and let me know if you have any suggestions for the next up in states because states is coming up and i really want to uh get some suggestions and let me know what y'all think about this like i said We'll try to stream them more often. Um, I try my best to do it. And also, I know we still don't have an intro yet, but I'm working on an intro uh, for Team Fish Nickel. Something had happened, and uh, we're, we're working on a new intro, so we'll try to get that ASAP. But thanks for watching, and let's see the video uh, right now. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today we're doing the regionals question to answer for week number three, the last weekend of the winter regionals. And this time around, we're joined with four people instead of three. You just want to introduce yourself really quick before we go into questions. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Jacob Van Wagner. That was a crazy introduction for the world champion. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. The 2015. Short to the point. Luxac finals. I'll sell his finals. jacket. I'll sell his shirt. <laughs> can, I sell, can I sell his shirt? Yeah, 20 bucks. I'll yes. buy it from you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name's Russell Parr. Uh, I'm a nobody. <laughs> okay. We like it that way. That's good. Fly into the radar. Cool. Russell All please. right. Um... What? Yep, it's your turn. It's your turn. <laughs> he asked a question. He asked a question, didn't he? Didn't you ask me a question, Mike? No? Okay. No, uh, yes, that's all. Gotcha. Um, my name's Serena. <laughs> I'm from Seattle. That's it. That's all you need to know. Cool beans. Uh, my name's Michael Cannabis. I'm from a Florida player. Played this game way too, way too long. There we go. And if you don't know, Russell and Mike are going to Florida this weekend, and Jacob and Serena are going to Washington this weekend? Oregon. Portland. Oregon. There we go. That's, I just know yeah. it's not Salem, so Jacob's not going to win this weekend. That's all I've been told. Hey, hey I wonder uh, when it was in Portland last last year. Yeah, uh, last year it was in Portland. Three-peat? Three-peat? Going for the three-peat. There we go. All right. Uh, but Bring us spooky fact. Uh, I was thinking about it. All right. <laughs> Well, let's go to the questions. Um, <laughs> this question is only for Florida regionals because I guess it's the only regionals happening this weekend. Uh, how much of an impact do you think Time Puzzle will make on Florida regionals but not on the West Coast? Russell, Russell. You um, that's that's a, that's an odd question. Um, I think like Time Puzzle is good in two decks, and that's about it. So the the decks that it has an impact on is like extremely significant, and that's Sable like Arbador. But at the same time, if anyone's able to make like Time Puzzle work in one of their Toad variants, that kind of negates anything that Sable like Arbador benefited from from gaining Time Puzzle. Um, I think it benefits more from Delinquent uh, than it did from Time Puzzle in general. But that's an incredibly like inconsistent ass concept. That some people are trying to make work, and if you had the time to test that over the past couple weeks, good for you. We were too I, well. I was personally too busy scrubbing VA regionals and trying to come up with something to play after this, uh, like post BKT. Um, I think the other deck you can play it in, like I said, is Toad. Uh, maybe if you get it to work. I don't know. I don't like playing that many items because it feels awkward. You can also make it fit in Groudon because some people are hyping that deck up, but Groudon has its downfalls because one, it's Groudon, and it's only good on the West Coast. 
And we're here on the East Coast. And it's Florida only good in California. Too. Yeah, it's only good for the Cali boys. Uh, Mike, I think we're going to see a lot think? of... Uh, I think Time Pulse is a huge card. I think we're actually going to see it more than what you think, Russell. Uh, I think you're going to see people play decks with Skyla and Karina again to try to abuse Time Puzzle. Uh, even things like Evil Tom might maybe. Just because you can fit it into anything just by trimming down on resources and playing a Skyla and stuff like that just opens up for such huge plays mid and late game. So we've been playing all night with it and I've, I've put it in almost everything. And it's, it's, it's pretty much what we've done, especially inside the Toad. I think it's going to be a uh, pretty played card throughout, especially in Save Light Garbodor, as everybody thinks about. Uh, yeah. But we'll find out if it actually pans out with Save Light, because I don't actually think Save Light is good anymore now that Time Pulse is out. What about you, Jacob Serena? Have you ever tested the Time Puzzle? I've played with it a little bit. No. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I agree with Russell and Mike in that Save Light isn't really as... I think it's going to be played, but I don't think it's really as good as it's being hyped. Because, like, anything that Time Puzzle does for you, you already do in Sableye. It just gets back stuff that you can just junk on for anyway. I like the point that was made about, like, basically it just renders Sableye a little bit worse because you can just get back your GCEs, you can get back all of the stuff that... Yeah. I don't know, it's like a worse trump card, but it kind of achieves the same kind of uh, thing. Mm Mm-hmm. I know it's standard. I've been playing it with a uh, Night March Vesta Queen, and it's like really good. Just get back DCs <laughs> and stuff. So, I know it's not expanded, but I'm not going anywhere the third weekend. Well, yeah. I, I I think it's I think it's standard. It's a whole other world because you don't have the um like the thought of trying to include Hypnotic Laser into whatever list you're playing with. Right. You know, because sure. like some people are gonna have some people easier. are gonna have problems fitting the four, um, and then they're also gonna get butt hurt when they try to cut down their VS Seeker down to three if they feel the need to do so. <laughs> You don't, you don't need to run four, though, because Time Puzzle can get itself back. That's the difference. It's not like Junk Hunt where you can't get itself back. So you could theoretically play two Time Puzzles with one in the discard pile and get three cards back. Yeah, so searching so for one. I think realize but... you can play, play three in a deck and still be okay with it. That's decent. Yeah, that... I'd still rather have four, personally. I mean, I just like Does having sound... the concept to go twice. Or, like, if I end up prizing two because, you know, it's me and I suck. So, like... Well, then you things, so things can, things, things things can happen. At the same time. Uh. Okay. All right. Let's. Uh. So this question is going to be for Mike. Since you played Sableye over and over again, what can you do to win the mirror match? Um. One thing that I really tried to do is try to make larger plays. I think a lot of it's list based, and I think it, you know you have to go to the matchup and try to figure out what's in their deck as fast as possible. Um, I had an AZ throughout both regionals for Virginia and St. Louis, uh, and a lot of other state by players didn't have that card. So for me, I couldn't ever get target whistled or anything like that. They couldn't trap something, basically. Um, so I would try to typically remove both their both their flow stones at the same time, and just like I would any other matchup, and just try to trap them up. You can get lucky with Burroughs, though. Uh, just get rid of their energy, and they can just you can just discard their energy off the top, and they can just whiff ever actually junk hunting and stuff, which is kind of weird. Uh, and I think a lot of people think that the laser wins the mirror. And if you play an ace trainer, I think the laser would actually lose you the mirror. Because as soon as you go down one prize against them, they can ace trainer you every turn and make it so you just don't hit your cards, which is what I <clears throat> did to one player at St. Louis. And uh, yeah, I, for, I let him take one prize. He never took another prize again at that point. And I just kept him to three cards pretty much the whole game. Okay. <clears throat> So, uh, Jacob, is there pressure for the three-peat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. Just, yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I don't know who's been testing even a lot, but how does the deck change with the new build coming in for Breakpoint? Um, it's weird. Like, I had to, like... Because I wanted to fit, I wanted to try it with like max elixirs, but I didn't want to change too much of it. So you have to cut like your fighting stuff. Stream went down, by the way. Did it what? go down? Oh, yeah. yeah. Couldn't take uh, it. Right. So I, I I like cut the maxis and everything from it to make room for that, and then you had to like cut stuff for more energy because it's like with six or seven energy, it just doesn't happen very often. 
So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about I, it. Yet. I think it's I think it's pretty strong, but I don't think I'd change anything, to be honest. Yeah, I mean the ga- like yeah, like Galad and Archie apps is so it's so good. It's like you'll probably I, I feel like I'll miss it as soon as I play against anything like that I really need Archeops against, like Vespaquin or whatever. I, I think it's pretty much how you, where you want to take the deck and like in what mm-hmm. direction and what matchups yeah. you're trying to sacrifice for. Some people are still trying to like hype the sure. like Maxi's Archeops and, and Galade and stuff to me. <laughs> but I honestly think that um, we'll see less flurry on Vespi Queen play because so many people are adamant on it getting really, really hurt by Sableye Garbodor. Um, and that was like the the main reason you played Archeops outside of, you know, like you can limit Toad Bats if you hit a turn one, completely run them over. Yeah. Um, the rest of the game from there. So that's like a, a give and take kind of thing. Um, I always saw Frank Diaz doing extremely well without ever playing the Archeops engine. So clearly you can play it, have some success, but he's kind of a, like a, a veteran of the deck. So it's kind of hard to take that into an account when you're trying to like switch decks from like week one, week two, week three, and then going into week three, having no yell at all experience and just seeing two people win two originals with it with Danny and Bradley. Um, and then seeing it perform so well over in California, but that was a completely different build um, what Sosa had. So like I, I think um, we'll see like three different variants of a pop-up. I think you're going to see some that try to include Max Elixir and Dark Patch at the same time and go for like this turbo craziness thing. Um, but taking an inconsistency hit because you're upping your energy count and then you're making yourself more vulnerable to Toad. Um, Panava has mentioned that you can see like some somewhat time puzzle, and so if you have like a time puzzle plus like an elixir and just trying to rush down, and then you remove like a laser bank from your build, then you're no longer trying to go for the damage. You can have Fury Belt plus the Stadium now for like an extra plus ten, so that would be better for your elixir decks. Um, and then I think Fright Night caught a lot more hype off of California and how it performed over there. But at the same time, oh, they yeah. barely had it. They barely had any uh, Sableye presence, from what I was told. And that <coughs> yeah, makes there was a huge one in difference. There was like, one like they in had a two. they had a Dino in top eight. You know what I'm saying? Tarantula yeah, in top eight over there. <laughs> Chris, That's what you wanted to have happen. <laughs> like, usually not gonna happen. So there was um, not very much. I think I saw three people playing it throughout the whole weekend. There was, there was not very much. There was a ton of, there was a ton of like Groudon and Toad Bats. Yeah, it's weird how like different regions have like whole different things. Like Mike just said, we had a ton in St. Louis. There's a ton of Say Why Garb Order. So, mm. um, That's interesting. But I guess my question is how would the meta change from week two to week three? Like, I don't think. I mean, like, yeah, pointed out before. The best queen of Flareon decks kind of get scared because they like Garboder, but does anything else like really change? I think you'll still oh. see a, a, just as much of Eltel, but uh, I think some people will try to stray away from some of the more conservative plays, and I think you might see some some outreach this weekend. For some people, yeah. <clears throat> just really don't know if things are going to change, um, and it's really hard to tell if Savai is actually going to get played or not because I wouldn't have expected it at St. Louis as heavy as I did, and here I am thinking it won't be there at Florida, but I, I don't really want to not prepare for it just in case because I know how strong the deck can be. Yeah, I think you'll probably be able to. Exp- I would expect more Sableye Garbodor at Portland than I would have than what you've seen at um, LA regionals or whatever. I think like, <clears throat> especially from like watching the stream and stuff, it's just different. Like being able to have that information from the stream. I think totally influences what people are going to play. Um, it's also weird because, like, I feel like Portland Regionals, for example, it's not really um, a meta that's, like, close to any of the other ones, right? Like, not that many people from Cali are going even, so it's kind right. of, like, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I think it also has to do with the fact that some people don't seem to understand how to play against Sableye Garbodor. Like, they just generally suck against the deck or with it. Well, that's why, that, I think that, that's why the that deck also, is so like, good. That's why yeah, the deck is so good. It factors into their testing, good. though. Like, like, they might be testing, they're like, mm. this deck's so broken, but they're not, you know, they're not advancing their right, play in any okay. sort of way or trying to, like, beat it correctly. Or, like, in their I talking think... discussion, they're just talking about how to make their list as efficient as possible. So I think that would have an effect on, like, 
how many we're actually going to see. I think I give the Pokemon community too much credit sometimes. Um, and, like, yeah. that, that in turn, like, hurts me. Um, it makes me make my own stupid decisions if I join the Pokemon community and being just as stupid. So I think I think we're definitely going to see a meta, a meta shift. Um, and like Mike said, we're definitely going to see Rogue Variant pop up out of nowhere. Because there's there's three really good generic cards in the set that kind of open up uh, things for like other decks that we haven't seen um, make a splash and expand it like before. Like Fury Belt, um, Elixir... And then a uh, time puzzle. So with those combined, you don't you don't know what kind of stupid stuff you'll see, like Mega Gardevoir, or like if Kyogre gets a chance now because has Manaphy. Like there's a, there's a bunch of different things that it can be going on with. So we'll see. Only time can tell. That's true. I guess Mike just left us too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a need him. Thank you. Really <laughs> Bye, glad. Buddy. Bye. Hey, Mike. All right. Let's, uh, so Mia asked us uh, nine different questions, so we'll start going through those. They're, they're really good God. questions. God. No, they're good questions. No, they, they are there. <laughs> they're really good questions. All right. <laughs> it's immediately triggered. So the first question is, with the hype of my, uh, the fighting for your belt, do you think people are going to start running more oh. cards like Scrap or Megaphone and Zerosic in their deck, or more than one of them in their deck? Because usually yep. you do see like one Zerosic. No. He says no. <laughs> Jacob said yeah. I, I think this shit is shitty. <laughs> I don't know why people like it. I don't know. Well, like that's the thing. Maybe I'm. I could be like 100 percent wrong. I haven't tested or anything. Uh, I personally think that you'll see the increase of Scrapper and Zerosic or whatever, simply because of Sableye. Sableye Garb. I think that you, you know, like adding a little bit of either of those helps have that matchup in certain circumstances. So, but not because of Fighting Fury Belt. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's because it's going to be because specifically that card, but like more mm -hmm. people are going to be like, well, I should probably also worry about that. And then floatstones on like Garbodor and like headringers on your own stuff. Headringers, uh, life, saw... just that, like, life do, yeah. Um, I saw a lot of people that just played like a one of Zerosic and stuff, and I thought that was really cool. I wish I, I like wish I had played a Zerosic in what I played this weekend. It's solid. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, I played what did Hexray. You play I played Hexray. I, I, I like didn't really have time to test much, so I like I ended up just taking the list that played that top aided last weekend. But I wish I had like guys. given myself more time to test it because like the Winona was basically useless, and I wish I would have had a Zerosic. Like I was thinking about it as I was playing because I played against Vespic like four times. And I was like, man, I'd really like to have a Zerosic right now because they're just like, well, I'm going to be up a little bit and then have a DC on the bench. I'm like, man, if I could just kill that and then Zerosic the other one. You get people that do that? That's so fun. It's like three wins. They just yeah, keep attaching DC to the bench. I was like, oh, wow. Must be yeah. nice to live in that world. Every, where it happened no so many worries, times, too. No I was like, man, that's, that's really stupid. What if I played a Zerosic? And then I, I was just kicking myself the whole time for not having it. <laughs> All right. I mean, nah, like, I Fighting think... Fury Belt, like, well, sorry, you go ahead. Just, like, really quick. I guess it is played in some decks, but I don't think it's, like, you know. I think it's going to be a mix. Like, muscle, the, the extra 10 damage on Muscle Band is still really strong. Sorry, Russell. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I think Fighting Fury Belt's broken. I want to interrupt Russell again. I, I, think it's, I think it's really strong and expanded. So, anyway. Fighting Fury Belt is a great <laughs> card. I, I love it. She's strong. Just... Let's all tell Serena that she's wrong on three. Ready, set, go. You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> I you, I three. you said on three, and then you never counted. I know. That's why. <laughs> One, two, three. You're, You're wrong. wrong. You're wrong. Got it's it. possible. I. Yeah. <laughs> I won't go. I. It's more than likely. How about that? <clears throat> go, go ahead. Buddy, I want to hear what Russell has to say. So good. The 40 yeah, HP like for, is ridiculous. I, I really like the 40 HP as opposed to anything else for the card. It's really, really strong. And then it makes your Dark Rye EX be like tanky as fucking hell against uh, Vespi. That's, I, I, I really Nuts. don't think Vespi Flareon is a play for this weekend. Not not because of anything else that came out or Sableye Garbodor. I think Fury Bell is just a bitch. And like yep, you're going to have to fit in a megaphone in your deck or like you're going to start using DS Seekers <laughs> for Zero Six at times when you're going to need to get your Blacksmith. Um, that's fair. And then that's, that's like fair. that's like that's like me counting your discard 
and being like, oh, you're at 170. I'm just going to attach a Fury Belt and pray. I really don't like playing to that. Like, I'm just going to have a turn to Darkrai online with the Fury Belt just kicking you in the face as you sit there and poke me for, like, a combination of 70s and 90s and this isn't there for, like, two and three hit KOs. Night. 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 Sorry. Sorry. Orion's going to bed. <laughs> Can Navis going to bed? No, no Orion. Uh, my room, Orion lives with, Craig lives with me. Uh, my roommate. Oh, so uh, okay, okay. Okay. So, would you give a thumbs up or thumbs down for this question? Do you think your ninja break will make top eight this weekend? What the fuck is that? Sorry, Can I give a middle you? finger? Can I give a middle finger down? That's, all, that, that's, what, I, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, this shit's bad. Oh no, guys! Oh, wait, that's the one that you, you place four damage counters on the guy. Thanks. Oh. Thanks. Well, in that case. <laughs> well, in that case, two thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think the deck's too clunky, especially for expanded. So. I don't know. Yeah, it's not good. Well, like it's really I guess three. Um, Grafton came to my house and he had a build and it was running like a, it was running really, really well. Um, it wasn't clunky, but it's just not good enough in expanded, I don't think, at all. Like we were just smashing. Mm -hmm. Expanded, yes. Like, expanded, was... expanded. Standard, though. It's a whole new world. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he really I doesn't believe... have much expanded in besides ends, and uh, I, it was running super smooth, so I think it'll be good in standard, but definitely not this weekend. <clears throat> okay. Um, Trevenant Break is a strong card and another one of the hype cards from Breakpoint. Uh, but due to Evatol running around, do you feel like it's a, like a super like bad play for this weekend? No. I, could, I just heard I just heard hell from Mike. Sorry. You, you say no or you say yeah? I didn't hear I didn't hear the rest. I said no, absolutely not. Hey, I think it's driving oh. an awful call to get with all the Evatol running around. <laughs> yeah, it's not Jacob. a good idea. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys haven't been tuning into the stream, the chat has an awesome Russell is back feels bad man spam going on. Yeah, I saw it. It's pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> now it's definitely. I like wasn't looking at it, and then all of a sudden, just everything is Russell is back feels bad man. Yep. <laughs> um, a lot of people. All right, so Trevor uh, breaks. No, Trevor. Uh, Trevor breaks. It's good, but there's too much of Volto. Don't play that shit. <laughs> Yeah. Don't be that guy. Don't be um. Don't be Franco. My man Franco never won a game, or he he never uh never lost a game. <laughs> he, won one. he won one. He won one. There you go. He he tied like nineteen games. There's only four rounds. Yeah. He tied nineteen of them. <laughs> Poor guy. Wait, he won one. Who did he beat? Uh no, he he. he uh, I think he beat you, didn't he? Oh no, that was St. Louis. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ask him. Ask him about that. Uh, when he when I said, "Hey Franco, don't grab a shaman because I've silent lab down," and then ask what he did after that. Yeah, he grabbed a he grabbed a Jirachi, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he grabbed the Jirachi instead. <laughs> uh, but I but I'll let him take it back. I was the champ. I'll let him take it back. Alright, uh let's see here. Due to much fear. Okay, so due to much fear to puzzle time added to Sam and Garbodor, many players are considering a safer deck such as Prime of Groudon. Do you feel as if this is a great choice to make or say my fall to li to will it fail to live the hype? Wait, can you repeat that? Okay, is is Sableye Garbodor? Is it like? Is it going to? Is it not going to live up to the hype? Basically, why is my face frozen? Didn't it? Didn't it already live up to the hype? Um, not till this past weekend. Hell no, this shit ain't win yet. What? I want that W. I mean, it. Well, there's like a hell. There's like hella there. They were in top eight. I don't know. There was like one nah, in top eight. Oh, two. My, my no, boy Bradley like two had that down. At least. Yeah, he had it. Squish. He played really well. Which deck did you Sable like Garb? Man, he sucks, man. Holy shit, he's bad. He's like, he's like the worst of the, he's like the, worst of the three. Ban you. The three Texas boys. He's the worst <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. It was, I don't, uh, like... it, was, it was the Taylor Swift bracelet. That was the whole, the whole, I mean, the whole thing. That's where all the luck came from. I mean, my question, like is, time, still my question with something like Sable Eye Garb always is, how do you go into top eight with a deck like that? Like, if your goal is to win the tournament, I just feel like it's so easily defeated by, like, the time rules, right? I don't know. You, you have to actually be good with it to, to, make, to, to win the tournament because you need to be able yeah. to play quickly, and you basically are going in there saying, I'm going to try to 2-0 everybody in 75 minutes, and that's 
a yeah. really ballsy move to make. It's difficult, yeah. All right. So, uh, Serena, this question's for you. Your podcast with Kenny is amazing, and I look forward to seeing more releases soon. Are there any plans to improve the audio equipment on either side and increase the production value? No. <laughs> <laughs> That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, answer. I like it. I like it. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Jacob, I mean, look, look at the account. Short and sweet, just like Jacob. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, uh, sure. So uh, the the main issue is that um, Kenny lives about an hour and a half away from me, and it, right now it doesn't make financial sense for me to drive down there every week we record um he records in the studio so i actually think his audio is great um we recorded over skype so my audio is not that good uh maybe if we start making money from it i'll go down there but it's not really like the point of the thing it's kind of more of a casual hobby for both of us rather than something we're trying to build up into like a really big thing right. so uh Jacob, this question is for you. Do you feel mm -hmm. as though your 2015's world's win has negatively impacted your play this season with unwanted attention or expectations? Um, <coughs> no, I think what's negatively impacted my play is that I just haven't been playing as much, and so I'm not, like, trying, I guess. I mean, I'm trying, but, like, I haven't, I, I, like, haven't given myself tests like I did before and, like, I don't think I don't like if people expect things from me. I don't care because I don't like really care what other people like think of me. You know, if they're like, "Oh, he's doing so bad this season," like I just I don't give a shit. Like, good for them that they're wasting their energy like being in a fit that somebody else is not doing well. Yeah. I think well, the only thing that's like had any kind of negative impact is that um, I'm um, not like trying or not giving not giving trying to give myself more time. All right. So this next question, I'm pretty sure everybody would just agree to this. What is your favorite card from Prank Point that you would try to find room in, room for in decks? And I'm pretty sure the answer is Puzzle Time. Like, I don't think there's any other card you try to fit in your deck besides Puzzle Time. In every say deck. that again, catch so, it. So in every deck, what's one card from Prank Point you would try to put in your deck? And I'm pretty sure it's just Puzzle Time. Like every yeah. deck. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> uh, Fighting Fury Belt. I was gonna say Fury Belt. Ooh. I like one or two. Puzzle of Time yeah, just. Fury Belt, I think Fury Belt fits in more things than Puzzle does, honestly. Because Fury Belt oh. kind of just goes in everything. Not everything can have room for the extra four like different cards. So you can just replace bands in anything for. The language that mid game hotness if your opponent sucks. That's so fun. <laughs> You're right. It's really good <laughs> like if your that, opponent that, sucks. That, that, mid, if your opponent that mid game isn't swing idiot. when they like. When they keep all them resources with like three cards in hand and just keep benching whatever the hell they have and just <laughs> boom. Yeah, it's really good when your opponent's bad. Yeah. All right. So I know we talked a lot about Sableye, but what beats Sableye? Like, what's the I best? I refuse to talk about Sableye. <laughs> okay. Cool. So... Um, honestly, I, I think like now I think Toad just beats Sableye again. Like it, like it was pretty, it was pretty close before. Still, like, Toad Bats was still pretty close because you could just attack with, like, Crobat and be cheeky with, like, Bats damage and stuff. But I think now it just it, it isn't really as close. It's a lot better for Toad now. Anybody else? I know, Serena. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really funny. Someone, like, uh, made an account named Serena's Pubes, and it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Okay. I don't know. What was the question? I wasn't here for it. How do you beat Saved by Garbodor? Right. You play well? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I had to play that well against it this weekend. All right. Puzzle plus Toe plus Yavelto. You have Garchomp now, which is dirty. The uh, free retreat gets back a fighting energy or DC to one of your bench Pokemon. So you can just free retreat between yeah. two of them. And go like this whole yeah, thing. It, it you won't be able to beat the right. um the life do lock, but hey, you can get there. <coughs> what you gonna say, Mike? So Sableye can theoretically beat anything that's like not Toad, but Toad alone I think is a, a big threat. 
And so is Groudon if it plays an AZ or Cassius. But if Groudon doesn't play an AZ, I think you lead it still. Yeah, I agree to that. Okay, um, let's see. So we saw a Selgor Wobbuffet make a play this weekend. Will we see a Selgor make a appearance this past, this coming up weekend, or no? I, I don't see any reason why it won't. There's nothing really that got came out that better against it. Yeah. Yeah, the the deck. I don't know. It's kind of super. Like it's inconsistent. Um, Bob. Bob was actually in my group of people that we just sat around thinking about the build and how it should auto winning and save like Arbador, and he ended up losing to that deck in top eight. Um, because oh, his yeah, opponent yeah. played in, his opponent played an AZ and just backhanded him. So that was <laughs> like more than enough right there. He also didn't play Verbank in his build, and we like two two or three Verbanks in our current one, so he can one shot Sableyes. But um, the deck is also an evolution deck, which means you're vulnerable to um, like more unlucky circumstances and other things. And with, when you run a deck like that, everything needs to run exactly how you plan it, or you need to have like a good mid game string of DCEs. Um, and then if you're playing the uh, Selgor Trap variant, if they like land a really good Hex Maniac on you, and then now they have time, uh, like if they're playing Time Puzzle, then they can land like a. Hex Maniac, Time Puzzle, VS Seeker turn to grab back Hex, or a Lysander turn, and just proceed to unload on you. So, um, yeah, I, I still don't think the deck is that strong. I think Bob is just a really good player, and if you run hot with a good evolution deck and you're playing really well, then you're going to get there. So, I don't, I don't expect to see much of it, but you can, potentially. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright, so another big question is... How much Groudon will we see this weekend at Florida? A lot of people think that Sableye beats Groudon. I probably agree with them, but do you think we'll see a lot of it, or do you see Dick will still see more of Evatol than anything else? Groudon rails Sableye. I don't think. Yeah, I would if you, like, if, agree with that. Yeah, it gets absolutely railed. It's not close. That's not true. It's it's pretty close if you don't run an AZ or Cassius. You can just right, but I mean like. Stuff. <laughs> Most like all the ones that did well in California played an easier or Cassius because of Sableye. Yeah, no, I agree. And then they and all they all got fisted. Like yep. <laughs> I think you'll see a lot of Groudon at Portland. I don't know about Florida, obviously, but it was big in Cali, so I'm. Uh, I think people will expect a lot of Sableye, so I think you'll see a lot of it at Portland. Can't speak about Florida, of course. I think Beach is essential, and everyone sold theirs, and they don't feel like buying them. <laughs> so you won't, you won't yeah you, so you might not see too much of it um i do think it's strong against sableye <laughs> and there's not many things that compete it but you'll definitely see a lot more yavalto than you will crowd on yeah i agree yeah yeah sorry a lot of the, a lot of the questions are like repeated like just like say my yeah one. it's just like say my questions so good here. Trying to like not ask how to save my work, how does save I do blah blah, how to save my blah, blah blah blah. Like we've already how just don't even want to answer work. those questions. Yeah. Just watch the stream, <laughs> dude. If you can't what, pick it up is, from watching a stream, like stop playing. What does junk hunt do? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh makes them flip a coin to attack. How do you take prizes? You don't even do damage, you just um, get back trainers. How do you do prize? How do you do I mean, I think it's it's funny when a deck like this gets so much hype. I think it's just because people are annoyed with it. But like, get, I don't know, get over that. It's just, it's just another part of the meta game. It's not even that big of a deal, in my opinion. I think it can be countered in a lot of ways. And yeah, yeah. No reason to be upset. No, I think that shit is toxic towards anyone trying to be innovative <laughs> with cutesy shit. Okay, yeah. Or well, decks, or any deck <laughs> how am I supposed to use this flavor if you're turning off my abilities? <laughs> I don't. I want to play I'm, the ninja. I don't, I don't want to I'm play. I'm so Flyer. sorry <laughs> that you can't play evolutions. I'm so sorry that it's boring for you, Russell. You can't even. It's not even that. You can't even play half the shit you want to play. You can't even play Kyogre. Well, uh, like, I just uh, want to play Vettel <laughs> Dark. So. Like you, you, you can, you can play Rye Eels, but then you're playing like three Tool Scrapper, and like why the fuck do you want to play two, three Tool Scrapper? <laughs> like, 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 it's, God, Lee. And then you're like, well, uh, you can counter in this meta. And then now you're playing three tool scrapper. You go into toad deck. The deck you're supposed to auto win. And you know what you do? You open two of them bastards. And you just get punched and punched.
and nothing helps. Then you draw your time puzzle and you're like, I shouldn't have played this card and you just keep punching you. <laughs> your oh, life is so hard, dude. No, I'd it's really a sad it's a sad day when Toad is seen as like not the problem. Exciting. You know <laughs> like like so everyone's like say like, say like this. When we're like looking at Toad it was just a fucking broken attack. And they're just like, eh. That's not the problem. That's not the issue here. <laughs> Sable Eye is. This, this card is a broken deck. My so. favorite question is when people ask to Sable Eye get banned. Like, nah, he ain't that good. Nope. Alright, Jacob. Expand, expanded needs to get banned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Expanded needs to get the hell out of here. Alright. They need to at least make it different, right? Like, don't make expanded. In- I mean, they're not the same now, but just saying. I don't know. Whatever. Yep. Continue. Same. All right, so Jago, this question to you: uh, what? what were the processes you went through when designing your Honor Stories Honor Stories deck for the competitive arena of play? Um, I did basically none of the effort. It was great. Um, I was like, "Hey, Travis, what should I play tomorrow?" And then he was like, "This seems cool." And then I played that. We Thanks. changed. I, I, I yeah. We, we, I put in like a Bunnelby instead of something in there. I have vague memories from Worlds, but I don't think I tested it at all. Yeah, I was. We, I like. Mm, never mind. I was really worried because we played night the night before, and I played a bunch of games with that deck, and I just like could never get the turn one, and I was like really, really upset. Not upset, but like nervous about like playing it. And I was so just you like, just eh, played it anyway. I just played it anyway. I was like, eh. Yeah, you were shaking when we were testing um, in that one really, really high up room. Remember, like the, it was it was like a party room on the very yeah, top yeah, of the yeah, hotel like the, floor. The, We're the all just sitting next to each other. Like, yeah, I remember that residential suite or whatever that place was called. That was sick. All right. So why is Jacob Van Wagner's worlds met so rolled around the edges? That's because I roll it up. That's, that was the question. I don't know why. Holy yeah. shit! Magical. No, no. Uh, okay, Canavis, this question is for you. <laughs> the question are my hand gestures. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, so Mike, um, will this be the first weekend you don't play Sableye? If not, how many games will you get dunked? Uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be the first weekend that I don't play Sableye <laughs> this for Winter Regionals. And hopefully I don't get dunked six times again. I hope, I hope you get dunked six times, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was... I think it's like nine donks between Virginia and St. Louis. Here are oh, nine shit. or ten. Pretty bad. Oh, and four God. of them, three of them were from Latios. I got Russell making faces. I know. Me too. What's up? Nothing. All right, let's see. Um, will we see delinquent splash into more decks than just say about dis- to disrupt an opponents with less than three cards in hand? What? Who decided that card was good? I mean, it is I'm good. Your if your opponent it. has three or less cards in hand, delinquent, when uh, are they going to yeah. have three or less cards in hand? When they're stupid. Yeah, I play against a lot of shitters. <coughs> <laughs> but now the question is... We- it's, it's not even that. Like, like You can put them in like awkward situations. And then red card's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. If you're, I mean, but you it's like red card and delinquent. <laughs> but do you think we'll see it in more decks without a save boy? I yes. don't think we even see the Sableye, first of all. I mean, I think yeah, we'll see you? it. Do I, do I think they'll, they'll like perform efficiently? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about testing it in mine. So. Well, someone was saying, I think it was Brad, was saying that like <coughs> yeah, Sableye is probably not even the deck that you want in it in the most because you want you to keep your stadium on there. But I don't know. Yeah, that was Brad, and I agree. You don't want to be discarding like your Team Aqua. <coughs> It's you, yeah, you, you want to have that out. I think random decks might just play one just because people like to just put one one up supporters in decks. Okay, uh, so Canavis, what are the main differences between Bottleby Lock and Sableye Garboder? Which do you like better and why? Uh, Sableye was way better just because items go right back to your hand. Um, I was probably, I don't know, a lot of people didn't play two bunnies, but I still played two in my save line even. Uh, I played the decks the same, just one got your items back to your hand, one put them back into the deck. Uh, and Bottle could <coughs> get back the uh, 
stadium the energy directly. But I actually, that's, that's where I started with my Save Like Arb list, was I just took my bundle big list from Nationals and Worlds and uh, changed it into Save Life. That's about it. That's fair. Okay. Uh, so we talked about Max Luxor some with Evatol, but do you think we'll see Max Luxor be played in anything else this weekend besides Evatol, or do you think that would be the only deck that's really played in? Oh, oh. Golduck Break? Uh oh. That was Golduck Break. Get out of here. I'm serious, dude. Okay, play Golda Break this weekend, Serena. Prove me wrong. Yeah, dude. Rahul was actually just spotting us a few minutes ago when he was here with everybody. He had VG no, built he wasn't. with uh, no, he wasn't. Max Elixir. He, he really was. I was, I was depressed. You're going to go back to prison, to dude. Quit lying. <laughs> Please don't. Please. <laughs> then again, I, wow. I was playing Groudon. So that might be why I, I got bodied, so. No, I, I think I think you like Golduck Break. I, I do oh, like we BG with uh, Max Luxor, <coughs> though, because you have Sky O Bridge to give out a free retreat, so it's easy to get that yep. turn with Emerald Slash. So, no, I think this might be a good good call, maybe, especially if like say like we have a player on best is not big. He got it every game. That yeah, there you go. All right, uh, so Russ. What's up with Dylan? What I'm supposed to ask you. He has college still. Since the Who's last Dylan? few times everyone asked. <laughs> Is that Dylan Dreyer? Um, yeah. No. Oh god, no. God no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think he's like I think he's fully quitting. <laughs> Dylan Dreyer? Yeah. No. Who, no. Who are you Dylan talking Dreyer. About? <laughs> We're talking about Dylan Bryan. Talking, talking, right about Dylan, talking about Dylan Bryan, dude. Oh my God! Oh yeah, no, I haven't heard about him for like a couple months. What's going on with him, Russell? Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, what's up with Dylan? What's hey, up with hey Dylan? Russell. Dylan, 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 Russell, Dylan, I have Dylan, a non-Dylan related question for you, real quick. Yeah. What's Wait, up? has did Dylan what's already have his roles invite? Uh, no. He's right. very close. He to doesn't me. have. Wait. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Dryer, uh, Dylan Dryer's quitting. I think. Um, and then Dylan Bryan is caught up with school and shit. And when we told him to come down to VA regionals, he said, I'd rather just come down to hang out with you guys for the weekend instead of playing Pokemon. And I was like, damn, the shots. But I think he can just win one states and then be over 300 plus just world win points. One. So. Just win one state. I mean, Dylan that shit's Bryan. like normal for him. My man will travel, oh, he'll travel uh, out to like Connecticut or whatever. I think he did it last year with eggs. So the next question is, what are your opinions on Burst and Balloon? Is it underrated, bad? No, it's fun. good. <laughs> What'd you say, Mike? It just sounds fun. It's a balloon, and it, you know, it's a semi-rock guard. But uh, I don't think it's actually that good. I think I, think I play, I I play think three in my Flygon deck. I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's better in uh in standard when night march is like running around everywhere. You can just like yeah pop Joltics and Pokeboos and just easily knock them out. So now when they got that fury belt, <laughs> <laughs> yeah boy. Yeah yeah yeah, then, yeah then that's true. So I think I think it is good. I think it's underrated for ex expanded. It's probably just bad at expanded. Probably better cards to play, but it's underrated right now for sure. It's gonna be played in standard for sure. Bursting blue. Alright, guys. You can play with a promo. Huh? You can play it with a Celebi promo. Oh, that, uh... <laughs> it shuffles a bursting balloon into it, too, because it shuffles all cards attached to it. She's actually right. <laughs> so they just take six, and you actually get to keep the bursting balloon and reuse it. Of course, can oh. I have a up. Credit goes to uh, Grady Thomas. I'm sorry for spilling your, your secret deck. Oh, he's gonna be so mad at you. Everybody he's gonna unfriend you on Facebook. Oh, no, oh god, that's, that's what I'm playing at my next LC. It's decided. <laughs> oh, someone, someone play that. Uh, someone already posted that on Burbank like ten minutes ago. Okay. Ten minutes well, ago. <laughs> All right. Guess I'm so ten minutes ago. So, um, if you had to ban one card, why? What would you? Would it be and why? Hypnotoxic laser. Okay, why? Uh, because in the famous words of Eric Craig, you just have a 25% chance of getting, in a less vulgar way, screwed. <coughs> True. Fuck. I just, I just <laughs> yeah, that. 
Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Serena. Hey, twenty five percent chance is always good for me. Hey everybody in the chat, spam Russell is back, feels bad man. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> He's back again. Aww. He's <laughs> Alright guys, what are the cards? Just kidding, they're all getting banned. Or, um, Seismatoge. Um, EX. I know you hate so I oh, actually, no, I want to ban Shaman. There's too many people that have um too many points from states, and they'll never top a regional in their life because they sh they're fucking shit, and Shaman lets them play all their resources like the shit's candy. And then they get to play badly, but then top deck a Shaman. Like, never mind. I'm too angry. Carry I on. would agree with that. I think I'm sorry. I, I, don't really, I don't really dislike that you're back. It was a joke. It's a meme, you dip. I oh, no, I'm talking I about Talk about salty <laughs> Fuck, I don't give a shit about them. <laughs> I think it would be interesting to see what the meta is like without Shaman. Uh, someone in the chat said Battle Compressor. That would be also interesting. Actually, uh, yeah, that's both are broken. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I agree. Battle Compressor is pretty insane. It's even worse now with Time Puzzle. Puzzle of Time. Because you oh, just compress her. Like. All right, all right. Let's. See. Um, what's the biggest challenge of running a YouTube channel slash podcast that people don't know about? The time you put into it. There you go. Well, that's not the oh, case I, for me. I, I think that's talking about Serena and myself because we have a lot less viewers than you, a lot less subs. What's that got to do with subs? Uh, okay, so I think. The challenge is, like, if you're trying to make something really good and you want to get a lot of subscribers, you're going to, like Squee said, you're going to have to put a lot of time and effort into making something really quality. And as you can tell, like, you know, Kenny and I don't put as much time and effort into making our podcast as Squeaky does. We don't have a, a new episode out every day. And uh, that's just kind of what you have to balance. So, I don't know. I think that if you what you're trying to achieve is like a lot of YouTube subscribers, podcast subscribers, whatever, you need to like not only put out a quality product, but also do something unique. Russell? Oh, I thought the question said how do you deal with it? Like how do you cope with it? No. Oh, alcohol. <laughs> is it what's the biggest <laughs> I just said what's the biggest challenge? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the biggest challenge? Um, yeah. I don't know. Not Putting up videos shit. while you're wasted. Yeah, like that's pretty good. Yeah, um, you have that's to have a like a... a challenge. Don't drink, kids. I mean, Sorry, we had I'm Dylan anyway. Desk, so I'm like, Dylan got like fanboys for days noise. when we started the channel. So that already like pulled in a number of subscribers and believers. List. What the fuck? Shit. <laughs> I don't know, man. Jacob. Jacob. This weekend. There's no right. puzzles. Okay, so, <laughs> let's see. Uh, is Vileplume Vest Queen viable for week three? Was it ever viable? Uh, it's always yes. viable. It beat Mahone. Yeah. I saw that stream. Yeah, dude. It died. <laughs> Round one, baby. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, that's right. I remember that. I remember that. He whiffed that Archeops and got this. Uh, yeah. But there was... I mean, you can yeah. just Fright Night plus Lysander it and look at the deck. Be like, what's up, bitch? I don't think that. I don't think it's a good deck. The time is over. <laughs> you'll you'll steal wins with it. So I mean, it, it's a deck you can get lucky with and do well, but it's not. It's just so fragile. It's not actually that good. Yep. Yeah, I agree with that. That was the problem I had with the deck. You just it kind of just loses to itself sometimes. So. Yep. All right. Uh. Michael, do you think Brad will return your watch at Florida Regionals? I don't know. It's gone. He's not staying at my house anymore. It's already so sold, I don't dude. Know. I, it, it, it's probably gone forever. <laughs> Is it a good watch? Like he's, a, he's already, it's already it's sold. It's actually it's a pretty Straight nice out. watch. I uh, I left it at his house at Houston Regionals, and uh, <laughs> I still have not gotten it back. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the next question is for Russell, of course. When is the next time we'll see someone's PC post a video with Dylan? Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dylan Dreyer, right? Wait, are you talking about Dylan Dreyer? Oh, my goodness. Talking about Dylan Bryan. Talking about Dylan. Are you talking about Dylan Mitchell? He's from Oregon. 
Um, probably August. There you go. Okay. <laughs> right before Worlds, right when he feels like uh, having an opinion. Did he'll tell me what to play at Worlds? Um, I doubt it. He usually just hides it all. Hey, that's not nice. All right, let's see here. Um, He's the one who refused to like be on stream last year, right? I have no idea. Like for some reason, like yeah. for some reason, he just he like made a fit about being on stream. I don't know if made fit is like right, but that's just like what I heard. Yeah, he was yelling at Dylan uh, Luff Love or whatever, and I had to tell him to shut right. the hell up because he was about to get kicked out of the tournament. <laughs> we're at, like the top. We're at, like the top four tables, and they were like, "Hey, you're gonna play on stream." Dylan's like, "No, we don't want to." And then he's like, "Oh, you're gonna," or like, or like they made him play on stream anyway. And the next round, um, a whole bunch of people were on a win in, winning ins, and so uh, they were like, "Oh, well, we don't want to play on stream either." And then um, they let him. They let like the first two tables deny playing on stream, and then Dylan was like, "What the fuck? How come I had to play on stream and they got to deny it?" And then that's when uh, the other Dylan got in Dylan's face. And then Dylan, like, was getting bucked back. And then I was sitting next to Dylan. And I was like, hey, I love you. Shut up. Don't get kicked out of the tournament. I was like, don't give him a reason to kick you out. And then they were like, Russell, now you're playing on stream. And I was like, fuck you, I ain't playing on stream. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then they, ended, they ended up uh, taking, like, some X2s who I think the winner didn't even get in and had them play on stream. That's funny. That's messed up. All right, yeah, Canavis. I don't know if you want this question or not, but they said, what's the worst part of prison? Uh, the Dementors. Definitely the Dementors. <laughs> Same. Me too, man. Shut up. Alright, so here's a question. Um, how did Brad win without a beanie? Taylor Swift yeah, bracelet? He won. Yeah, yeah. It, was a, it was a Taylor Swift bracelet, really. Oh, okay, so now it's like Team Taylor Swift bracelet, not Team Beanie anymore? And did, did you see the way that um Dalen Dallin Dallin Dalen Dockery Dallin Docker Dalen yeah, Dalen yeah he drew like ass in the finals so bad oh no Tennessee let us down yeah and then Brad uh, I think Brad hit uh, turn two Archeops both games oh that's so good. bad yeah easy life <sighs> sucks to suck all right <laughs> so Jacob here's a question <laughs> uh huh um what of deck were you considered playing for Worlds last year. <laughs> what deck was I considering playing for Worlds last year? Besides other, uh, other deck. Oh, um, I think I had. So I had some kind of evil tall. I had evil tall built. I don't remember honestly. I know I had some kind of evil tall built, but I wasn't feeling it. Okay. All right, guys, but uh, that's all the questions we have for y'all. We don't really have anything else to say. But hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Regionals Question for week number three. Good luck this weekend if you're going to Florida and or Oregon. I think it's – what is it? Washington. I can't remember what state it's in. It's over on the West Coast. Huh? <laughs> you just asked when it, where is Washington. I can't remember what state it's in. Look, shh, be quiet. But whatever state it's yeah, in, good luck that weekend. Out. I know Florida for sure. The other one – somewhere else i can't remember but hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching hopefully it's somewhat helpful i know it's kind of chaotic um with serena partying and everything but thanks for watching i'm not partying <laughs> exactly <laughs> all right guys but thanks for watching have a great day Alrighty, bye bye